freaked out, as you can imagine. Okay. That's why we got called here. A call about a man with a rifle reveals a scary reality for both police and children. Good evening, everybody. I'm Rob Braun. And I'm Kemi Deerking. That emergency call came from inside a local elementary school. Another caller described a rifle with an orange tip, the markings of a toy gun, or maybe not. Deborah Dixon explains in a story you'll see only here on Local 12 News. Ah, the good old days when a boy with a toy gun was simply using his imagination, such as my son, who grew up playing cowboy and Civil War soldier. To help police tell the good guys from the bad guys, manufacturers started painting the end of toy rifles orange. That used to work. What's going on now happened in front of North Avondale Montessori School. 42, we have enough units on scene. On the scene of the man with a gun run. This is a toy yeah. gun with a with an orange yeah, yeah, tip. Yeah, guess what, Doc? You can't. I just picked it up off the trash. Yeah. So that orange tip doesn't mean anything to us. We're going to assume it's a real gun, no matter what. Because people do paint those tips orange, like I said, to try and fool us. Like this one, the orange tip and Nintendo says toy gun. But the bullets it shoots are very real. There are Facebook videos of bad guys explaining what the paint job is all about. A Facebook video of explaining exactly that, that he wanted to paint a tip on a gun to make it look like a toy so he could fool a cop so he could shoot a cop. You get a, a situation where you might have a young, inexperienced officer that sees right. that and says, oh, it's got an orange tip on it. Right. That's a toy. Next thing you know, the officer's dead. Same with a kid on the street. Hills confronted a 15-year-old walking down the street. He kept pointing a gun at people. When Hills stopped him, he started to pull it out of his back pocket. It was a pellet gun, but it looked exactly like a very large automatic handgun. And that, that was a life and death situation. And something uh, that was never, never forget. Oh, it was one of the closest in 30 years of policing. It's one of the closest I ever came to using deadly force. The teen found the pellet gun and said he was acting out a movie. This ain't the 1970s, man, when you could walk the streets with a toy gun like we used to do when we were kids. And I'm, I, and it I'm ain't like that anymore. what this world is coming to. The man stopped with the orange-tipped rifle, made go. sure no one would make the same mistake. Right he there. smashed it in two. I didn't mean no the good old days. At least we have photos to remember them by. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Well, the man who was stopped with a gun was not charged with anything.